I want to start off by doing a very traditional pr prayer, a blessing, a bracha, uh, when we study the Torah, and it goes a little something like this. Uh, Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandment and has commanded us to engross ourselves in the words of Torah. Please, Adonai, our God, sweeten the words of your Torah in our mouth, in the mouth of your people, the whole house of Israel. May we and our offsprings and our offsprings' offspring, the, the people of Israel, the whole house of Israel, all of us know your name. Study your Torah for its own sake. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who teaches Torah to his people, Yisrael. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together to witness something spectacular, something grander, something amazing. And it's not me, but it's we. It is we. So I know what you may be thinking. What is Vayekel? Vayekel. Maze Vayekel. Maze. What is Vayekel? Well, before we delve into what is Vayekel, we need to know when. Mate, Mate, when is Vayekel? So, I've been doing some study, and Rashi brings down that when, Mate, Vayekel, is the day after Yom Kippur, on a Shabbat. Why is this important to know? Because if we backtrack, we come out of Egypt, uh, then, Mo, then Moshe comes and brings the Ketuvah. Ma, ma, maze Ketuvah. What is Ketuvah? Ketuvah is a marriage contract. It is a marriage contract. So we were supposed to be married to Hashem. Yet when Moshe comes down, he finds us being unfaithful to another, to the golden calf. So because we have broken the commandments, Moshe breaks the ketubah, the, 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 um, the commandments. So it's important to know that because it goes back and we do teshuva. When we do teshuva the day after, Yom Kippur happens the day after we do teshuva. What is maze, maze teshuva? What is teshuva? Teshuva is we broke God's law, right? We stopped breaking God's law, but that's not good enough. We started living out God's law, and uh, Yom Kippur is the fruit of that. We do Yom Kippur, we're living out God's word, then... Moshe comes back down with the second set of commandments, the second set of the ketuvah. Marriage is on again. The, we are back engaged with our beloved. So now we know when Vayakel. So Vayakel is gathering. It's when we gather together. So we gather together almost, dearly beloved, like we are gathered here today. It was on a Shabbat. This is where we get the idea of gathering together on Shabbat, like we are doing today. Now, you have may have heard it said, you may have read it in letters, or someone may have told you that it's, it's too hard to obey God's laws, to be obedient to his commandments. But we are all here together, gathered together by Yekel, gathered together in obedience to his commandments. Not so hard now, is it? There's uh, other things that uh, table talk, uh, uh, what you would say, shulchan, what is maze, maze shulchan, shulchan is table. So there's some things to think about while we sit at the table. Some of it has to do with the parasha for this week. It has uh, to do with the, uh, oh, Exodus 35, 5, I don't know if we have a, a uh, okay, and this is a very big talking point. It says, um, you shall kindle no fire throughout your dwellings on the Shabbat. What does that mean? Well, that's a great talking point. Some of the talking points has, um, is electricity fire, right? It's a great, great question. Is driving a car, combustible engine on Shabbat kindling a fire? Great question. What does a diesel car or an electric car? These are all great questions. Is there halecha, maze, maze halecha, halecha is the way one walks. It's a, it's a um, ruling by the Sanhedrin, right? So the Sanhedrin gives out halecha rulings for us to, to walk out the Torah in our life, okay? Um, 
What about playing music? Is, is music against Shabbat? Is uh, playing sports? Is this breaking the Shabbat? What about moving furniture? And, and of course, he's a very big one, especially if you're in Israel, smoking cigarettes. Is smoking cigarettes on Shabbat breaking the Shabbat? This is a very great question, something that we should talk about at the shulchan, the table. Okay, but I really want to focus on this man, Bitzalel. He's a very fascinating guy. Okay, now when we, uh, of, course, of course, when we get married, we want a place to live in. So what do we do? We build the shulchan. Maze, maze. What is shulchan? Shulchan is dwelling place. So we need a place for our beloved Adonai to dwell in. So this parasha is about the dwelling place of God and the building of it. Specifically about Bezalel, who it is said that, um, let's see, <laughs> I lost my place. It says that he's a master builder. Um, and it says that the people gave. And when we give, we should give with delighted hearts, with um, hilariousness. We should give with simcha, maze. Maze, what is simcha? Simcha is joy. So when we give, we should love to give. And I know much of you are cho joyful givers. Okay, so we should, and, and oh yes. It tells us that they gave so much, Moshe had to say, stop giving. I've never heard any ministry that say, stop giving. They always say, give more, give more, give, give. But Moshe, stop giving. You've given too much. Okay, so let's talk about, may we be such givers that we have to say, stop giving. You've given too much. So let's talk about Bezalel, okay? Um, first of all, Maze Bezalel. Bezalel, his name means shadow of God. So I, I suspect that he's a shadow. Have you ever heard of the, have you ever heard of someone who is a master, or who is a jack of all trades, but a master of none? Not Batzalel. Batzalel is a master of all kinds of trades. Okay, Psalms 91.1. Do we have that one? Ah. Okay, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Batzalel is the shadow. Uh, you... Okay. Uh, here we are, you may know that when you're under the shadow, that whatever's casting the shadow is close. So being in the shadow of the Almighty is a good thing. This Bezalel in verse 31, do we have 31? Okay, here we go. Um, Adonai has filled him with the Spirit of God. Have you ever, oh, of course, we've done that. The Spirit of God, he is filled, not just upon, but he's filled, Okay. Uh, to summarize Bezalel, he is, a, he is singled out by Hashem like the Mashiach. He is selected by Hashem just like the Mashiach. Bezalel is filled with the Ruach HaKodesh like the Mashiach. Bezalel is wise, understanding, knowledgeable like the Mashiach. Bezalel can design, craft, embroider, embroider, weave, and he is a teacher, a rabbi. Okay, just like Yeshua is the word who designed, cut, craft, embroidered, re weaved the, uh, all the world together. And Yeshua is a rabbi. What is a rabbi? I say rabbi like a pharisaical teacher. That's a rabbi. So, conclusion. What can we take away from this is even if you're not a builder, if you're not a craftsman, a carpenter, carpenter, you know, like Mashiach was called the son of a carpenter, uh, you, yes, you, all of you, can take and can merit the mitzvah of building the Mishkan, the dwelling of, the, of God, the building of God's dwelling place, by how? By Sadaka and by Yekel, gathering, that we give Sadaka in, in envelopes and we put it in a box. So that's what I'm going to do today because I want to merit the building of God's kingdom. Thank you.